right, day seven. You are almost a week into your brand new coaching business. I am so proud of you for making it all the way to day seven. I know this is just the beginning of a whole new adventure, a whole new way of life. And I hope you just take today to really reflect on all that you have accomplished and how far you have come and give yourself grace. What I mean by that is you wouldn't walk into a university and be handed the syllabus and expect to understand and know everything that was in there, right? So maybe you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed or you're feeling a little confused or you're like, oh my gosh, I, I still don't feel like I really understand what I'm doing. That's totally fine. This is only day seven. Give yourself grace to mess up to say the wrong thing, to do the wrong thing. I have done that so many times, guys. I have made so many mistakes. But why I'm still here today, almost four years in, is because regardless of what happened yesterday, I show up again today. And I remain curious, and I continue to grow, and I continue to try and improve my skills and just be a little bit better every day and just show up for my business and myself every day. And I want you to do the same. So today is day seven, and for a lot of you guys, it's gonna be Sunday. So this is an active recovery day. This is a rest day. Again, this is a great time to reflect on the week. What went well? What can you improve? And then plan for the week ahead. So one thing I like to do on Sundays, oh, excuse me, is plot out my schedule for the week. So look, First, you know, I, t I open up my calendar and I see, okay, what are all my family obligations? And I write those in. And, you know, when maybe you have a full-time job, what are your other obligations? Write all those in. And then figure out where are my pockets of time that I'm going to work my Beachbody business. This is super, super important because we have to make time for this, just like we make time for our workouts, for our spouse, for our family, for you know all those other things in our life. We have to make our time for our Beachbody business. And we have to make sure that we're being really intentional with our time. And what I mean by that is that we're not just going on social media and scrolling and then calling it working, right? It's not working, sorry. So you have to be really intentional. You know, am I inviting people every single day? Am I following up? Am I being a product of the product? Am I showing up consistently on social media? Those are the things that you want to be sure you're doing in those, those pockets of time. Now, you can work all your business all at once. This is what I do right now because I'm a full-time coach. But when I was working a nine to five, I would work my business in little pockets throughout my day. Like no joke guys, I would wake up early and I would do maybe half an hour to an hour work early in the morning before my family was up. And then I would listen to personal, personal development when I was driving to work or I'd have calls with my coach or I'd have calls with prospects. Um, while I was driving. And then on my lunch break, I would be sending or returning messages or posting on social media. And then driving home again, I'd be listening to personal development or listening to trainings. And then it was home and the evening routine and kids in bed and husband. And then I would follow up, you know, maybe do my follow-ups right then or expand my network then um, or finish returning messages. So I would take these little pockets of time, you know, 15, 20, 30 minutes throughout the day but making sure I was really intentional with my time so that every day, again, we're moving that needle just a little bit more forward. So take a look at your week. Plan out when you're gonna work Beachbody this upcoming week so you know when you sit down at that time, you are working. Now what we're gonna do today is, you know, for most of us, it's active recovery. So you're doing yoga, you're stretching, you're foam rolling, super, super important. You're drinking your Shakeology. And then one of our posts we're gonna do today is talking about Shakeology. So what has it done for you? What is your story with Shakeology? Whether you haven't even drunk it yet and you're just super excited for what it's going to do for you, or you've been drinking it for a month or a year, share what your story is. I know for me, I'm a busy, busy mom, and I used to skip breakfast all the time and hit Starbucks, and I would get my caffeine and my carbs, and that would be my breakfast, which would leave me crashed, you know, like an hour later, and it was super expensive. Or I'd be eating my kids' leftover, like, you know, 
toast crusts and bacon that they didn't eat. I was not eating a good breakfast. I also have an egg sensitivity, so it was really hard for me to get protein in in the morning. I have major sugar cravings, and so I was always craving sugar. So Shakeology helped me with all of those. So share about your Shakeology photo, or your Shakeology story. Then the next one we're gonna do, I recommend this be your evening post, is talking about your progress this week with your health and fitness. Now, if you can do a before and after photo, awesome, that's the best. And even if you just started your health and fitness journey on Monday and now it's Sunday, you have a story to tell. There is so much power in the seven day story because people can, can get behind that, right? They can see what you did in seven days. Maybe you lost a couple pounds. Maybe you're sleeping better. Maybe you have more energy. Maybe you're feeling stronger in your workouts. Maybe your stomach is feeling less fluffy. Maybe your skin is clearing up. When people can see what you achieved in just seven days, that makes it seem possible for them because they're like, oh my gosh, she did that in seven days? Well, heck, I can give seven days. So I think a lot of times we think we need to have this huge transformation, right? We need to go from like way overweight to losing 50 pounds to inspire people. When sometimes that's even harder for people to relate to because they're like, oh my gosh, well that took her like three years. Oh my gosh, I can't do that, right? I can't commit for three years, but I can commit for seven days. So share what your seven day transformation has been. And I recommend, that, again, that be your evening post. Now you're going to continue to do your 5 to 10 Instagram stories every single day. And then I talked about this part already, talking about what went well this week and what can you improve upon this week, and then posting and showing up in the challenge group. And you've made it your first week as a coach. I am so, so proud of you and excited to help you just continue to grow and to refine your skills as we progress through your first month as a new coach.